Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. We're backstage at the 2019 Orbe Atelier in New Orleans, and I'm here with my good buddy, oh, Kian. Kian, I just, a yeah, it's always a pleasure. You're always. just one of, one of my favorite people to see backstage, and that's where we see each other is backstage all the time. Yes, but. always, it's always backstage, and it's always a pleasure, Maggie. Yeah, it's great. So, so um, Kian is prepping his models and his um, mannequin heads and his wigs, and you were telling me that there's something very special about this wig. Yeah, you know, now um, I, I was looking for the perfect wig to, to showcase. It's something that Orbe, like, it has instilled in all of us and I went to this beautiful wig store and um, it, I couldn't find it and you know where it was it was all the way towards the back on this mannequin and I asked the lady I said you know wow, this wig is amazing it is really cool she's like yeah it's been sitting there for about 40 years so I was like I want it I want it and uh, we lightened it we, we pre lightened it to get it to the right tone for our models today and um, it put gold lust to restore and repair all the textures so it re we revived it. We revived so it. So then, and then, you know, this is stenciled. Yes. So you, I was watching you stencil the wig. Tell me, um, what's the magic in stenciling? What are the tips for anybody who's doing stencil work? I think uh, the magic in stenciling is uh, making sure that the, the graphics that you put onto your uh, cardboard is the correct um, uh, um, stripes and stuff. And, and then what you do is you want to spray precisely. You know, I use black paint to spray the stripes. So it's, it's really about like airbrushing it through slowly, making sure the edges are crisp and clean and um, giving the most amount of depth to where you want your stripes to be. So if this model comes out on stage and she moves and it kind of separates this, is that part of the design to show the movement of it or is it meant really to be more stationary? Well, you're going to have to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but because, you know, the inspiration, you know, uh, because it's like 40 years old, it kind of leads us back to like 1984. And when I look at the year 1984, I saw like bands, uh, heavy metal bands that were like black stripes and white ends and, you know, just a little bit rough around the edges so they're gonna shag out all right well that's cool so we're gonna go over here I just want people to see the stencils that you use and right over here You know, did you create these designs? You know, my, my really good friend Nathan, Nathan and I, he's a, he's a graphic artist, and um, he helped me um, create the perfect pattern, and you know, we, we're going to use the gold side and the silver side to display our stenciling on stage. All right, that's great. And then the paint you use is what? The what paint, you the paint is, is actually just black paint, you know, black paint that you find in any fun, uh, creative store to kind of, you know, give the depth. And do you... Uh, uh, set it with anything. Is anything sprayed over? Well, that's very important. The base of all the wigs is set with like uh, super fine strong to give that cardboard finish so that we can add that cardboard on top of it so we can get more precision with our stenciling. Oh, well, it's so cool. I can't wait to see this show. Congratulations. Another fabulous thing. And I can't wait to see you at the next yeah, fashion it's week. It's such a special day. It's a day to, for all of us, our team, uh, the whole entire team to, to, to pay tribute to our one of our greatest men yeah, this is great because everybody here is an homage to Orbe himself and what he meant not only to the industry but to you guys individually. It's yeah, and I feel so lucky. <laughs> Thank you.